All right, folks, just going to do a quick video uh, doing a capacity test of these Nikkor IMR 14500 batteries. Now, 14500 battery means it's 14 millimeters across, 50 millimeters tall, which is the exact same size as a AA battery. Now, these have a higher voltage at 3.7 volts, where a AA typically has 1.2, so they're generally not interchangeable unless the device that you're using them for has um, circuitry that can support that. In most cases, they don't. So people will buy these 14 uh, 500s and uh, end up burning up their device. Anyhow, I picked these. That's a good looking battery in it. Anyhow, I picked these up for a flashlight that I bought that's specifically built to take advantage of IMRs. IMRs is a lithium manganese battery that can discharge energy at an accelerated rate and as a result the flashlight is a little bit brighter. So yeah, I want to do a capacity test of these. Like I said, they're rated at 650 milliamps and we're going to find out if they're full of shit or not. So for this we're going to use the uh, Fox Novo Digital Charger 4S. Let's go ahead and just get these batteries in here. And then what we're going to do is at half an amp we are going to top these batteries off we're going to drain them all the way down and fill them back up and see what the capacity is. And as you can see right now, they came out of the box at around 4 volts. So they're, they're almost fully charged. You can take it 3.7 and run it up to all the way to 4.2. So I'm going to turn this off. We're going to come back in a little bit, and uh, we're going to see how they did. All right, folks, just a quick update. Both these batteries had finished draining, and now they are filling back up with, uh, with energy or power. And so I'm going to take a look at this. One of the things I did want to point out is uh, last time, after I ended the video, I saw that I left it on one amp instead of a half amp. And we usually do the first test on half amp, then we'll do a full amp, and then do another third test at a half. So I quickly dropped that back down, so I don't think it's going to impact anything. But if you take a look, uh, we're filling back up, and this is the number where the batteries had been drained. So this is drained to 674. This is 690. So it's already exceeding the uh, ratings for these batteries which are rated at 650 milliamps. Um, the only thing I can really say is, is that uh, Nikkor makes great great batteries and all the tests I've done, all the use cases, all, all my uh, time using them has been uh, has been great. I've, I've always they've always exceeded expectations. So I'm gonna put this down, I'm gonna stop the video and we're gonna come back when it's done but uh, so far these are looking great. Alright folks Here's where we ended up with the half amp test at uh, 674 and 690 and at 4.22 and 4.21 uh, volts per battery. So these are really good numbers and like I said earlier, Nikkor makes great stuff. We're going to go ahead and we're going to run one more test. We're actually probably two more tests. We're gonna, the next one we're going to do at a full amp and uh, I'll come back when that test is finished. Let me just go ahead and, and get this so you can see it. Okay, we'll see you at the end of the next test. Alright folks, so we just finished the 1 amp test, and as you can see they both charged to 4.21 volts, which is good. This one went up to 600, oh, 675 milliamps, this is a 704, which exceeds the rating on the battery. Uh, so again, very pleased with the results of test number 2. We're going to go ahead and we're going we're gonna to drain them and fill them back up one more time at another half amp test, and uh, that's going to wrap up the video. Alright folks. This is the end of test number three. Let's make sure it comes across. So they both charge back up to uh, two point. I'm sorry, four point two one and four point two two, six hundred twenty two milliamps and uh, six hundred ninety four. And this is at the. Let's see if I can get this to focus in a little better. This is at a one half amp uh, discharge and charge. So all three tests, these batteries have have exceeded uh, marketed capability or capacity. So, can't go wrong with these. Thanks, everybody.